What is HLA? In this presentation, we will review the basic concepts of HLA, its importance in immune defense and for transplants, especially bone marrow transplantation, and the HLA typing techniques, focusing on the newest Oxford Nanopore technology. According to the American National Institute of Health website, human leukocyte antigen, or HLA, is a type of molecule found on the surface of most cells in the body. Human leukocyte antigens play an important part in the body's immune response to foreign substances. They make up a person's tissue type, which varies from person to person. Human leukocyte antigen tests are done before a donor stem cell or organ transplant, to find out if tissues match between the donor and the person receiving the transplant. Let's review in more detail each of these statements. A type of molecule found on the surface of most cells in the body. Actually, HLA is found in every nucleated cell of the body. Endogenous antigens, a virus, or tumor antigens for example, are processed in the proteasome and generate peptides that are transported by TAP molecules to the endoplasmic reticulum, there, they bind to certain HLA class I heavy chain in association with beta-2 microglobulin. The peptide HLA complexes are then transported through the Golgi to the cell surface. Here is where we find the HLA molecule, attached to its antigen. There are two types of classic HLA, which are most relevant for transplants, HLA class 1, and HLA class 2. HLA class 1, has a unique chain formed by the domains alpha-1, alpha-2, and alpha-3. Also, the HLA class 1 molecule presents a beta-2 microglobulin molecule attached to it. In general, HLA class 1 molecules are recognized by the T-cell CD4 positive. The HLA class 2 molecules, have two chains, one chain with the alpha-1, and alpha-2 domains, and another chain with the beta-1, and beta-2 domains. Usually, HLA class 2 molecules, are recognized by T-cell CD8 positive. The peptide binding cleft, is the local where the processed peptide is attached to be presented by the HLA molecule, in order to be scanned by the T-cells. The HLA class 1 molecules bind peptides, derived from endogenous antigens, that have been processed within the cytoplasm of the cell such as tumor proteins bacterial proteins, or viral proteins, or cellular proteins, and processed within the cytosolic pathway. Class II HLA molecules bind peptides derived from exogenous antigens, that are internalized by phagocytosis, or endocytosis, and processed within the endocytic pathway. The HLA region is located on the short arm of chromosome 6 from 6p21.1 to p21.3. The classic HLA is divided into HLA class 1, HLA A, HLA B, and HLA C, and class 2, HLA DR, HLA DQ, and HLA DP. HLA makes up a person's tissue type, which varies from person to person. The HLA gene is the most polymorphic in the human genome. Each person has a unique set of alleles, and finding a donor match is a rare event. Human leukocyte antigen tests are done before a donor stem cell, or organ transplant, to find out if tissues match between the donor and the person receiving the transplant. Until recently, the next generation sequencing based on the Illumina platform, was the gold standard for HLA typing. But it has changed with the arrival of the Oxford Nanopore technologies. Why HLA typing is important? HLA is not only important for immune defense. HLA typing is used to match patients and donors, for bone marrow or blood transplants. A close match between a donor's and a patient's HLA markers, is essential for a successful transplant outcome. HLA matching promotes the growth, and development, of new healthy blood cells, engraftment, and reduces the risk of a post-transplant complication called graft-versus-host disease, GVHD. However, there are more than 35,000 described alleles, which makes the search for a compatible donor even more difficult. 
and the number of described alleles was increased according to the evolution of the technology. The HLA typing evolved from serology techniques to molecular techniques, starting with PCR-SSB, PCR-SSO, and real-time PCR. High-resolution tests started with SBT, the Sanger sequencing method, followed by the next-generation sequencing which includes Illumina and ion torrent sequencers. We are now in the third generation of sequencing, which includes the long-read sequencers PacBio and Oxford Nanopore. Nanopore sequencing is a unique, scalable technology that enables direct, real-time analysis of long DNA or RNA fragments. It works by monitoring changes to an electrical current, as nucleic acids are passed through a protein nanopore. The resulting signal is decoded to provide the specific DNA or RNA sequence. The first nanopore-based HLA typing in the market was launched by a mixin. It's called Nanotype. Nanotype provides a three-fields high-resolution test in a long-read sequencing, with minimal investment. Its workflow for one sample takes less than 5 hours in total, from the DNA to the results. For 12 samples, the workflow from the DNA to the final library is about 4 hours and 40 minutes. The sequencing time for 12 samples is 12 hours. The sequencing takes up to 1.5 hours for one sample and 12 hours for 12 samples. The analysis takes 2 to 5 minutes per sample, using Nanotyper the analysis software provided by a mixin. The analysis takes into consideration only the exons, excluding the introns. The results are in high resolution, but with three fields of resolution. Here is an example of the results as seen in the software. Thank you for watching this video. If you have some comments, suggestions, or questions, please leave them in the comment section.